Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today, I'm going to show you how to create custom type styles in iMovie for iOS. This is for those of you that want to go beyond the basics of the titles feature that you have in the iMovie software available for iOS. If you've been playing around with it for some time, you've probably noticed there's a number of limitations. First of all, you can only put your typography in the middle of the screen or in the lower third section, and you can't even change the font color. So it is quite limited. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create any font style you like of any color, place it anywhere on the frame, and also to drag it across the whole timeline, which you currently can't do in the title section of iMovie. Let's get started. To get started, we're gonna download Adobe Photoshop Mix which is a free application that you can get on the App Store. Once downloaded, tap on the application and tap on the plus button icon on the top right-hand corner of the app. To start our project, we're going to make our own custom canvas. So tap on the custom canvas icon. In the pop-up screen that appears, enter a title for your canvas and put the dimensions of 1920 by 1080 as the canvas size. If you're working on HD videos, if you happen to be working on 4K, enter the dimensions 3840 by 2160 and then tap on the create button. And now we're gonna go ahead and create a new layer. Tap on the plus button in the middle of the screen, tap on color and select either a blue or green background, depending on the color choice of your typography. For this example, I'm gonna be using white text and possibly another color such as yellow or red. So it doesn't really matter whether I choose green or blue. If you're going to create either blue or green typography, then you need to make your choice of background accordingly. So if I wanted to use blue text, I would need to choose a green background. If I was going to use green text in my project, I need to select a blue background. And that's because we're gonna be knocking out that background when we get back into iMovie. So if you have both a blue foreground and blue background, it's not going to work. So keep that one in mind, let's continue. Tap on done to complete the creation of your background layer. Now we're gonna tap on the layers tab once more, and this time we're gonna select text. So I'm just gonna use the words main title. Obviously you'd put any text that you like in this area. Tap on the format icon below to change the characteristics of the font. You can change the font style by selecting any of the submenu options that appear just under the preview window. You can change the size of the font and you can also change the color. You could go for red, green, yellow, any color but blue as I mentioned before. If you are using blue, you're gonna to need to change that color of the background. So I'll go back to just a plain white title for this example. And now that I've completed the style and position of that layer, I'm going to tap on the tick icon on the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, we have two layers, the bottom layer in blue, the layer above is our main title layer. And now I'm going to add a third layer, which will be a subtitle. Tap on the plus button above the layers icons. And once again, Let's select the text option. The text appears right in the middle of the screen. We can tap on it and position that title anywhere we like. I'm gonna move it down to the lower third position. I'll just put the channel name just as an example. And now I can go in and change the size of the typography, the color of the text. I'll go for a yellow color in this example. And if you like, you can even make further refinements, including the spacing, alignment and line height of your typography. You can also change the style from bold to italic or underline. So once you've made all the adjustments to that final layer of text, once again, tap on the tick icon on the bottom right hand corner. And now we have our new title graphic that we're going to go and import into iMovie. So in order to do that, tap on the export icon on the top right of the screen and save that image down to our camera roll. Now we're gonna go ahead and open iMovie. I'll create a new project, tap on the video clips that I wanna import into my project, and then tap on Create Movie below. Find the position where you want to place your new title on the timeline. 
tap on the plus button, navigate to your photos folder, tap on the new title graphic that you just created and tap on the three circle dotted icon to the right hand side of the plus button and add that title as a green or blue screen element. iMovie will know what color you've chosen and automatically key that background out. So it's placed the titles clip on my timeline. And as you can see, iMovie's done a great job of knocking that blue background out and leaving me with just the titles overlaid on top of the video, which is just what I wanted. Now I can go ahead and make a change to the position of that title on the timeline and even drag the yellow bars left and right on the clip to move it across a range of clips or even across the whole timeline. If you're experiencing any issue with the quality of the type, if you see that it hasn't quite created a clean cutout, you can tap on your green screen, blue screen layer and make some adjustments to the mask and the strength of the key in order to improve the clarity. However, I've found that this is rarely necessary. When you're working with a clean blue or green background, it should create a perfect key for you the first time. And on a final note, I just wanted to mention some other photo editing applications that you could consider using instead of Photoshop Mix. For example, there's a great photo editor called Snapseed, which also has a typography feature. So you could easily use that application. There's Canva and there's also Font Candy. So there's another few applications that come to mind that you could just as easily create your typography. But many of these photo editors don't have the create new layer option, which allows you to create a block color of blue or green, in which case you could just place a plain green or blue background into those image editors by doing a search for them in the Safari web browser. You can then download it into your camera roll and bring it into your photo editor of choice. So there you have it. That is how you can create your own custom text in iMovie. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video informative. If you did, hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel so you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so those reminders get through to you. Also, if you do have anything to contribute on this topic, if you found other hacks, other approaches to creating custom typography and you wanna share those tips with our viewers, feel free to put them in the comments box below. Thanks again. See you on the next one. Bye for now.